All right, let's roll. Let's rock and cock or whatever they say. An ordinary boy named Bronze set out on a quest. In a world inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon, Pokemon are amazing creatures with incredible powers. Pokemon are partners of all kinds, of all people in this world. Some people battle with them, others keep them as pets. I knew that was coming. Classic line there. Classic OG Pokemon line there. This year we'll see the rise of a new trainer. They will prepare to fare the face the world head on with friends by their side. You are that trainer. Oh, it just kicked over from bronze. Oh, what did you say your name was? Nick, Jesse, Elliot, Alex. All right, give me. Let's run. Put a little Give, put a little razzle-dazzle on the end there. T-Shot, are you ready? You're about to embark on an amazing journey. Fun and adventure with Pokemon awaits. Get going, your mom is waiting. Your real name? Jamal with 7Js would not fit. No potion! My heart! Thought I was gonna get the cheese potion in there. Oh wait, the map! <gasps> New map! I bumped a button and something called G-Force Experience opened. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. Anyway. Janto! Janto! Silver Leaf Town. Ooh, <laughs> bronze cave, baby! I, the only thing that I'm upset about is I meant to actually either replay or rewatch my Bronze 1 playthrough. Because if there are Bronze 1 references, I'm probably going to miss them because it's been like three years. Two years or something since I've... Uh, actually... Refreshed myself. Maybe I'll do it after this. After this stream. Mount Redstone, huh? Man, look at this map! I'm so I'm so excited. Hard root? Fuck, I got a hard root right now, let me tell you. Oh, he pulled a Kanto and he put he put the fucking Victory Road right next to Oh, I'm excited. Let's let's get downstairs. Five save states are speed up. Yeah, we're not playing the MMO anymore, so I, I should have both again. I haven't done them in a minute, but Oh! T shot exclamation point dot 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 exclamation point. You're up! Professor Alder has been waiting for you to visit the lab. Oh, yes, and I bought you a map gear. You can use it when traveling. The map gear is a digital map and a clock. Oh, I almost forgot. The day of the week isn't set yet. What day is it? It's it's COVID. There should be a date on here just called COVID. Is it daylight sa I don't fucking know, man. Chad, is it daylight savings time? I know spring forward, fall back. I don't know which one actually is daylight savings time and which one isn't daylight savings time. Like, I know right now we're an hour ahead because we spring forward, but I don't know if that's daylight savings time or not. It's not. Do you guys have daylight savings time in Australia? And you, I need people from the United States to tell me this because we all got different fucked up daylight savings time. I'm getting different answers, chat. Oh my god, I'm just gonna Google it. And that's it. Saving right now. Daylight savings time in most of the United States starts on the second Sunday in March and ends on the first Sunday in March. So yes, it is. Yes, it is. Motherfuckers out there telling me no! What's the matter with you? It starts on March 2nd, okay? And ends in September. It's daylight savings time, yes. Three oh yes, that's that's great. I won't keep you any luck. Thanks, Ma. All kids need to leave home sometime <clears throat> someday. And I guess ten years old is just it in this universe. <coughs> I've had a cough since I woke up. I know what it isn't. Not whatever you're thinking. Ooh, look at the T 
He shot! Exclamation point. <laughs> this house. <laughs> I love that, man. Okay. I have a small confession. Frico asked me yesterday, last night, when I was ready to download the game. And I said, give me the game whenever so I can download it and have it set up, which I didn't actually do, right? Uh, however, he said, "I'll give me 40 minutes to finish streaming, and then I'll, I'll send you the file. This is yesterday. So I popped into Frico's stream because I was excited, you know, about the launch and everything. Wasn't thinking. And, uh, I do believe I saw something I wasn't supposed to. In a corner somewhere! I'll find it. I'll find it. But then I, I quickly dip the hell out. Is all I'm saying. We're gonna poke around a little bit, though. Did you know how a Pokemon feels towards you can have benefits? Try your best to care for your Pokemon, and they will love you in turn. Sure. Sure, lady. Anyways, I know one little secret, is all I'm saying. Hello, T-Shot on another adventure. I wish I could train Pokemon more often. Being a mother is an adventure too. Yeah, you gotta find out what kind of cereal you're gonna give the, your kid that morning. My favorite Pokemon would be an electric type. What about you, big kid? Hey. Alright, that kid and I vibe. The kid's, are, the kid's okay. Does, does it have a ponytail? Did you add like a little ponytail thing in the back? Remember when I was young, I had to catch my first Pokemon with my bare hands. Okay, maybe I'm not that old. I like that. Is someone gonna stop me if I try to leave? Hey, Tisha, weren't you going to see Professor all today? See, the old man is trying to deter me from this. I like that. But is someone going to stop me if I try to leave? I probably shouldn't go out without a Pokemon. Wild Pokemon. Alright, the... Freako, speaking to me through the game, stops me. I just had to test it. I just had to test it. Yo! I Man, these sprites look good, man. T-Shot! So good to see you! I just finished cleaning up for the big day. It's time for you to pick your first Pokemon. But where is... Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I can't believe they've forgotten. T-Shot. You think you could travel to Silverleaf Town and bring him back here? Hmm. Well, might not be fair. But I'll let you pick your first your Pokemon first so you don't run in any trouble on the way there. I have three Pokeballs there on the table with Pokemon inside. You may pick one to raise as a partner. I haven't even thought about starters. Starters? Teams? I thought about none of that. Real quick before I pick the starter, Alpha Nuts, I see you're in chat now. I just wanted to say I didn't realize how much uh, you and Jekko popped off during Zombies the other day. So once again, I just want to thank both you guys because I see you're here. I know I was really bad at looking at chat while we were playing Zombies. I was just trying not to let the boys down and, and a bunch of other stuff, but I do appreciate it. And X Dragon with the gift subs uh, from the other day. Anyway, I haven't even thought about starters or what I want for a team or any of this. Charmander. Okay. Charmander the Fire Pokemon. Is it the same as. I don't remember what Bronze 1 starters were. Two Gen 1s. This next one's gonna be Chikorita or something. Are they all Gen 1s? Are they. Yeah, okay, it's... Man! Man! Okay, so typically, when, when presented with Gen 1 starters, you're almost always gonna see me pick Squirtle. When we did the Pokemon MMO, you're gonna see me pick Squirtle, okay? Do a poll in chat. I would love to do a poll in chat, but instead, I think I'm going to tell chat going to tell chat to fuck off, and I'm actually going to pick Charmander, which is weird for me. I normally don't go the Charmander route, but we haven't done Charmander in a hot minute, and I honestly really like the way Charmander's sprite looks in Gen 2. So I'm going to grab Charmander this time. I normally do Squirtle, but I've done Squirtle so many times in the past bit. 
I re yeah, I like Charmander Sprite a lot. Now, chat, y'all know the drill. We need a nickname for Charmander. We need a nickname for Charmander. I thought it was Bulba time. I'm really hesitant to pick up Bulbasaur because I don't know this game at all. If I knew the game layout, I would, but Bulbasaur just falls off so hard. Charred Man? Okay, I don't... I'm not gonna go with Charred Man, but I do like... What about this? What do you think of this? Because this dude's gonna be a carry, right? He's gonna carry the team, right? What do you think of this? Chad. Czar. What do we think of Chad Czar? Call him Fuego. Fuego's not a bad name. Hang on to Fuego. Hang on to Fuego. We might name something else Fuego. I like that one. Name it Randy. All right, Randy's not also also not a bad name. Unknown lives just west of here. Bring him back to the lab so he can choose a Pokemon too. Your Pokemon is hurt. You can heal it with this machine. Use anytime you want. The only problem, hold on, T-Shot. I know you can do it. Oh, something else from the trailer. I know there are two regions in this game. Not like a region and a half for, you know, sort of, you know, the, what Bronze 1 managed to get out. No, this is a true, true sequel, Flaming. Frico just released it. You can tell because the sprite's all different and everything. <clears throat> T-Shot. You should take this in case you run into some trouble. Two full regions, baby. Each with a main quest. Yeah, so, uh... If I knew the game a little bit better, maybe on, like, a second playthrough or something, I may pick Bulbasaur. But I'm afraid to pick Bulbasaur when I don't know the region because Bulbasaur just falls off too hard. Charizard usually can carry it. He's got type coverage. You know, he's good there. Uh, water types that can learn ice moves are almost always a safe bet. Grass types that maybe become poison types... A little tough. A little tough. Your Pokemon's the most adorable thing that I've ever seen. I should get one too. Yeah, just pop in the lab. I guess he's giving them away. Yeah. That's one thing I love about uh, <clears throat> the way Frico does his stuff is a lot of games like Pokemon Uranium, for example, will sit there and, and hype it up and like have a Twitter page going and just, just amp that shit up so it gets a lot of hype. Nintendo catches them with the CND somewhere around the time there's like a little bit before they're supposed to release it because too many people are talking about it. And they've released the game like four betas already just to test it to the public. Frico's just like, mm, whole game, here you go. Finished it. Done. Here it is. I think you can do it, T-Shot. You always seemed like a bright kid. Ah, you didn't know me very well. But I appreciate the vote of confidence. Give me a Pokemon. Old? Oh, we started in Old Oak Town. I didn't even realize that. Are you going to teach me how to catch Pokemon? Pokemon like to hide in thick, tall grass. and can pop out at any time. Oh, no, we battling. Oh, first battle. Chads are. I don't think I've been given Pokeballs yet. Oh, you know what? I turned I actually turned fast forwarding off. Um, because we were doing those speed runs, remember? Yeah, I was wondering when my controls were jacked up. Let me pop into the emulator. Controls, joypad, here we go. Speed. Nope, not that one. There we go. There we go, should have my fast forward button back now. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. My balls. 
I'm a big guy, but not even I can climb those ledges. I can jump down them, though. <laughs> I heard some solid Gen 2 music in so long. Pokemon Mode didn't have Johto in it. For some undecent, filthy reason, MMO don't have Johto in it. So the only Johto music you get is on the, the numbered islands. When my Pokemon aren't feeling too hot, I avoid the tall grass. I'm getting a lot of tutorial here. I don't know which way I'm going. I don't, have, I don't think I have a... Oh, I do have a map. Okay, I'm just kind of exploring right now. So I have to hit silver leaves, so I can kind of I can look around a little bit. I was looking for a hidden item. Yeah, we got the fast forward button back and rolling, boys. No, this is Gen 2. Jersey. A lot of the map design was made so you can see some areas out of bounds and wonder if you can go there. Sometimes you can. It's Freako. You don't have to keep digging, man. You, are, you already struck oil, all right? I'm sold. I'm here. Different Pokemon can appear different. All right, that guy. I've come a long way. I saved. Oh, yeah. Let me see if this works. I don't know if I turn save states off or not. Let's do this. In case I fuck this up. It looks like I messed up my safe states. I haven't booted one of these up in so long, and the last time I did everything was messed up because we were doing those speedruns. No, it says I have one. Okay, it's just not popping up on screen anymore. Maybe Visual Boy Advance updated? That doesn't sound right. Okay, yeah, it does work. It just doesn't pop up on my screen anymore. Well, good shit, boys. We're rolling now. I know I'm gushing, but I can't... Cannot begin to tell you guys how much just hearing Gen 2 music makes me happy. It just doesn't miss, except Dragon's Den. That theme is awful. I live to explore, and I explore to live. Beginning of a journey, ah, it fills me with joy. Whenever my Pokemon get hurt, take them to Pokemon Center. When I raise my Pokemon for a long time, it changed. Alright, she tells me about evolutions. You're not that late, Brian Scott. This is the first town after the main town. I don't know where I want to go. So many options. I want to buy Pokeballs. Like, there's a lot of people who look like gold hanging around. Alright, I cannot buy Pokeballs yet. I must not have triggered the activity. My teacher's the Fire smartest ever. The she knows absolutely everything about Pokemon. Duck Sauce, thanks for gifting a sub to Ash Trend Kill. Ash Trend Kill, welcome back. 20 motherfucking months. Hello, I'm a teacher. I can tell you about all sorts of status effects. Uh, no thanks. I wouldn't anything new on there, surely. Mm -hmm. 
Pokemon have been companions to humans for a very long time. The first Pokemon I ever caught will forever remain in my heart. Okay, I know I'm doing a lot of extra asking around and stuff. I'm just seeing. I'm just seeing if you put anything in here. It looks like it's a lot of uh, default from like the early towns in, in Crystal, so. I don't know where this guy is, though. I'm assuming he's north. Pokemon centers are amazing! All their services are free. Yeah, we've been known. I don't know who I'm looking for. No, this is definitely past. They told me his ass was in Silvertown. Nah, Duck Sauce, that's not how that works. Oh man, we got stopped. Oh hey kid! Sorry, but these huge rocks fell all over the path. I'm trying to move them with my Pokemon. Could take a while. I think if I head over here, maybe? This isn't the way I came from. No, I came from down there. Oh, this is the secret! A small sprout growing in the ground. That's what I saw that I wasn't supposed to see. And then I promptly left Rico's stream, so I didn't see anything else. That's a little something-something. I, I don't know what's going on there. I'll figure it out on my own. I'm guessing maybe once I pick up a little squirt bottle or something, we head on back over here, but we'll, we'll find out. Are you my rival? Hello, T-Shot. Oh, you're looking for Blank. He's upstairs playing his video games. I know you two haven't really seen eye to eye, but maybe training Pokemon together might be a good bonding experience. Yeah, it's gonna make me hate his guts. That's the that's the main issue with picking. That's not even the main issue, but that's a big issue with picking Charmander. Is when you pick Squirtle, your opponent has to pick shitty Bulbasaur, right? When you pick Charmander, these this motherfucker gets Blastoise. That's kind of scary. Ooh, hey girl, how you doing? Oh, it's you, T Shot. Picking a Pokemon was today. Man, I better get one before you do. You already have a Pokemon. Well, that's hardly fair. Guess I'll have to run to the lab and get a better one than you. I'll be a stronger trainer than you. I'll uh, be a stronger trainer than you. You'll see. I'll even race you back. Ready? Go. Eat my dust, dweeb. I like that sprite, though. Nintendo 64. The cartridge is some kind of RPG. I don't want to say she's tougher than us. But the professor took one look at us and like and was like, wow, you little dork. You're gonna need a Pokemon to get over to Silverleaf. And then this bitch was like, oh, I gotta run back to town? I'll just run there. And I'm assuming she's either running past or kicking the ass of any Pokemon. I went down here already. Man, are you slow? I hung back a bit to make you feel better. I'll let you know a little secret. If you hold B... RUNNING SHOES, BABY! Aren't you glad I told you that? They don't call me Speedy. Guys, what did I name my rival? I'm inclined to name her Gonzalez. Because she said they don't call me Speedy. Four months. Dork. Posters. I honestly, ha I've liked the idea of naming my rival Frico, with the exception that Frico may put himself in this game elsewhere. Because Frico definitely showed up at the end of Bronze 1. Just to say that, you know, like, hey, I'm Frico, I helped develop the game. Karen? Okay, wait. Oh, Shy is continuing the gift sub. Uh, thank you, Edgar, for the four months. Shy, thanks for continuing the gift sub. I actually like Karen. I like Karen a lot. <laughs> I like Karen a lot. I don't think she's gonna act like a Karen. Goddamn, Shy! Rivals, this is a. Okay, this is a male. Yeah, this actually makes it funnier. Shy, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Appreciate it. Hannah, no, no, we're gonna stick with Karen. 
They don't call me Speedy Karen for nothing. Smell you later. I am the hype! Appreciate the love, Shy. Woo, we got run. Look, I'm not fast forwarding. We just have running shoes. My balls at a bum bum but somebody is gonna lick my balls. But I'm only gonna lick. Fuck. Oh, let's hit level six before we definitely have to battle this guy. This Nidoran is defensive as hell. Kind of tanky. Whoop. Probably only have to battle like two or three more Pokemon if I wanted to hit level uh, three. All right, Frico, since I have you here, do the running shoes make it more likely I'll encounter a wild Pokemon? Or no? What up, Alex Swaggy? How you doing? Since you haven't been streaming, I was going to ask, will you be playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered? Oh, hell yeah, we're going to be playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Hell yeah. I've actually, I never played the originals. I heard a lot of good, a lot of my friends really like 2, but I never actually played the original. I didn't implement the shoes, so I'm not actually sure what the code does. Fair. <laughs> About time you got here, T-Shot. Professor Alder let me have his strongest Pokemon. It's way better than yours. How about I show you with a battle? Eh, I was gonna try to run over to the machine and heal real quick, but yeah, I guess we could do this. I have a potion. I have berries. Ooh, look at, look at Karen's sprite. That's a Karen-ass pose, though. I don't think we went wrong naming him Karen. Oh, uh... Como, his name's Zeshin. Look up Zeshin or look up Heroes and Fools on YouTube. He just uploaded it to VR chat. It's VR chat. It's not a VR game, it's a VR chat mod he was working on. Or like... But yeah, the game is VR chat. He just did... He just did a super, uh... Oh, I should put, a uh, Charmander up there, shouldn't I? I'd probably grab a Charmander and put him in the box. Oh, God. First of all, this thing's level 6. Secondly, it's defensive as hell. We might be bone here. Alright, got the berry to even it back out. Ooh, crit. Didn't look like one, but crit. Yeah, I'm gonna put after after this fight, I'm gonna put Charmander up there. I'll just do it on the fly now since I don't actually know if this is making it to YouTube or not. But it looks like we got this fight in the bag. He didn't have a berry. And I growled him once already, so he doesn't do a lot of damage. With uh, Bam in the games, you would think they would have the entire returning cast. If they're gonna have all the boys in there, and got him, Chad Czar popping off already, showing us why he's the Chad. Might level up twice here. Ah, I knew it'd be close. Learned Ember, good shit. Karen has been defeated. Beginner's luck. I clearly picked the wrong Pokemon. So, Frico, is the rival still this guy if you picked a girl? If you picked to play as a girl? I have no words for you. Catch you later, dog breath. Rival being a dickhead? Love that. Love that. It's missed. Oh, T-Shot. I mustn't forget. Every trainer shouldn't be without one of these. It's a Pokemon encyclopedia. Fill it up with information as you catch Pokemon. Time for you to finally go out on your own. Make us all proud, T-Shot. I'll call you on your cell phone if anything important comes up. 
I'm gonna heal real quick, Doc. Thanks. I mean, Bam's done a lot of drugs, but they absolutely knew Bam was doing a lot of drugs the first time they put him in those games, so. Alright. Let's pause here real quick. I'm actually going to look. I used to have a Pokemon Sprites folder. It's been so long since I've had to access it. Oh, I still have it. I don't think I ever ran a Charmander, though. I might have to download it. I don't have a Charmander. Um, There used to be a website I'd go to to nab Pokemon Sprites from. I think they changed. I forget the name of the website, but it worked really well, and then one day it was just gone. Because you used to be able to pick whatever generation you wanted to. Damn, man, I don't have to find this again. I want the Gen 2 Charmander Sprite up there, you know? Oh, or I can download all of them. I might come back to that one. Finally cut your live races red. Hey, thanks, Shadow Slayer. If the notification didn't show up, um, refresh your page, and you might have like a purple share option in your chat if you if you want the notification to go off. That's just it's up to you. Let me extract files. Two. Sorry, this is really something something I should have done beforehand. There. Pretty sure the only thing not the same as OG Tony Hawk Pro Skater will be the soundtrack. They lost some sound rights. People are starting a petition because I guess Trapped, I guess the guy who still runs the band Trapped with that one hit song they had, Headstrong. Um, is this going to work? Hold on. I guess that guy's a huge fucking dickhead. So people are starting a petition. No, it's got the white sprite. You know what? I might just run it anyway. These are supposed to be transparent, is the thing. Oh, you know what? I don't think the Gen 2 ones ever were transparent. If I get that to fit perfectly, that would be nice. No, I'm going to grab a different set. I don't actually like the white there. It was a nice thought, though. Um, right resource. Damn it, man. There used to just be a website that I went to, and I know the website got, like, taken down or something. Yeah, but I guess the guy, uh, yeah. So people start, because people started a petition to get it removed, and the guy threatened to sue them. Like, that's how much of a dickhead he is. I don't know, man. See, because, like, I don't want their latest models. I want, like, a Gen 3 model. Something that has a... This is obviously not regular ass Gen 1. No, this is Gen 2, but it's a Gen 2 ROM hack, so it's a fan-made game. And it's actually a sequel ROM hack. We already played Bronze 1 some years back. This is Pokemon Bronze 2. I'm sorry this is taking forever. I completely forgot. What am I on Pinterest for, man? What is Google Search doing these days?
I'm going to have to do Gen 5. What the fuck? Why am I on a website that plays music? I just want Pokemon sprites! Hey, what up, Dama? How you doing? How is it so hard to find? Wait, what if I just do this? Charmander sprite, images, and then I come up here. What if I just use Google? I don't need a website if I just go Google. You feel me? Okay, and then now I can do this. All right, I made that more complicated than I needed to. Google has always been my friend, and I should have just looked there first. Well, I was looking there. Google was failing me extremely hard. There we go. That's something I can fuck with. Boom, perfect. Didn't need to take five hours. I just made it that way because I'm I'm dumb. I'm a big dummy dumb head. Anyway, I already keep playing. Sorry about that. I just realized I'm so old, I assume anyone with 23 in their name is referencing Jordan. That still makes sense. I mean, I guess a lot of kids don't know who Jordan is now, but... That still makes a lot of sense, because, uh... Like, nobody was born in the year 1923. Nobody hanging out online was. D-Shot, is it? Seen you pass by a few times. You wanna catch Pokemon? I'm gonna show you how? No thanks, dude. I like that that guy battled me, and also was still the Pokemon catch guy. I don't think there's anything around here that I want to put on the team. I don't want a Nidoran female. Do we take the easy route if, if he shows up and just pick up a Nidoran male? Do we do the early MLK strats? I always run an MLK, man. I'm, we might try to go Nido Kingless on this one. You didn't battle that guy? I'm... I did, though. Didn't I? I'm fairly sure I battled this guy. Because I came down here and I came down here and talked to him. And he said something different. Anyone want to go back to when I first left the town and grabbed the clip? Because I'm like 90% sure I went down and talked to that dude and I battled him. He had a level 3 knitter and man. Uh, level 2 knitter and female. Fine, Kangas. I, I don't know what Pokemon are in the game. I don't know which ones are here. I don't know where they're going to be at. We're just going to kind of pick them up as we go, you know? But all I'm saying is that I'm not sure there's anything in Route 2 that I'm dying for. If you guys don't mind, I might turn on my air conditioner really quick. It's getting a little warm in here. I'm not even going to need to use the speed up function because this these shoes kick ass. So is the boy Firo. Firo's nice. He's actually better than Pidgeot, but I think if I were to go that route, I would probably just grab Pidgeot. This time. I haven't played with a Pidgeot in so long. The thing is...
The thing is, right, in the early gens, with the exception of Fero, he's he's pretty okay. In gens 1 and 2, the early flying types suck. Even Wingle's not that great, but at least he's water coverage in Gen 3. Did I go this way? I didn't go this way before. Ready for the Pokemon League? Because that's where this route leads. Only the strongest trainer should attempt to head out there. I wonder if we put a battle up here with the rival. The rival will absolutely beat my ass if there is. I don't need a flyer if I have Charizard, right? Okay, Mankey. I don't hate Primate. Primate hates Primate. Because his stats just aren't good. Right now, I, I like looking around, looking around, see what Pokemon are in the area, and also leveling up Chadzar while we're here. But you're right, a flying type is kind of redundant because Charizard, I'll probably have Wing Attack or fly on him once he hits Charizard status. So picking up a flyer early is uh, not the smartest idea for the long haul. Pokemon League Reception Gate, they're not going to let me in there. They're going to tell me to fuck off. Oh, this is a cool little gate, though. Only trainers who approve of themselves may pass. You don't have all of the badges of Janto. Sorry, but I cannot let you go through. Fair enough. Fair enough, gate with the old college try. Talonfl Talonflame might be the best bird Pokemon in the entire game, in like in the entire history of Pokemon. I love Talonflame, and he came from a generation I did not love at all. What's the other one? Swellow. Swellow's a good one, right? He hits pretty hard. And this really sucks because I know the game inside and out, and I can't view it as completely fresh like you can. I've seen the start of this game more than any other part. That's the that's the price you pay. You're like Thanos, Rico. That's the price you have to pay to fulfill destiny. He's fast, he hits hard, he's a fucking fire type. You can learn Brave Bird and Flare Blitz, you got my vote. I love those, like, I'm a sucker for moves that do a shitload of damage, but are also self-damaging. The house up there. Where are you off to with those Pokemon? The Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. If it doesn't come to trust you some more, it could be tough going. Trust is that uh, is the thing that binds Pokemon to trainers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm early on, lady. I just picked Chadzar up. He'll get to he'll he'll grow we'll slam some beers together once he's old enough. We'll get to be real good friends. Let's see if that guy moved those boulders. This is one righteous burger. He did not. Oh, hey, kid, my Blastoise is just moving these boulders out of the way. I think he's almost got it. Blastoise, use strength. Oh, shit! There's a whole animation! You know how easy it would have been for this guy to just be gone when you came back up here? That's how the old Pokemon games did it. The guy would just be gone. I think that should do it. Wasn't even all that hard, huh? I guess now people can move on and tackle the cave. See you around, friend. Okay, I kind of want another Pokemon. And it followed him. Oh, it followed him out. I kind of want uh, another Pokemon for the cave. Maybe we'll get one in the cave. But typically, Charmander in caves results in Charmander getting his ass kicked. Whoa there. I can tell you're new. You should battle me before you head into this cave. Might be too scary for you. Agron is also a personal favorite of mine. I definitely always used to catch, like, when I was a kid, playing through Gen 3, I would always go find and catch an Aaron. And I liked Aaron a lot, because once you got past Brawly, nothing you ran into hurt Aaron. 
because he was just so defensive. So he would laugh at, like, even though he, like, wasn't hitting the hardest, he would laugh at almost any kind of hit he took. Oh, this thing's level 2. I should have just scratched it. I'm level, we kind of have a level advantage here. Like, this guy was worried about the cave being too tough for me. I'm level fucking 9. Cool man! Thank you for the 40 freaking months, bud. Apparently, Twitch put a person who wants to make a competitive team of marginalized players, but said the game chat is cheating. Predisposition. Duck sauce, I'm gonna need you to English that up a bit. All I know is this Co Carnage is on the safety team. And I put all the faith in the world I have in Ko. Ko's a good guy. Who knows the community pretty well. Hello! Bingo! Oh, and look what's over here! This is that house I was just at. I'm pretty sure. Catch it, bring back MLK. MLK. That wasn't a wild Pokemon. That was a trainer battle. And I, I was just talking about it, but I run a Nido King in almost every single game I play. So I think I may lay off of Nido King just to try something different, just to be new, you know. Holy moly! Sorry, kid, I was looking for Diglett. Did you find any? Hiker Brian. What up, Squires? Also, there's a really bad thunderstorm going on outside right now. So if my internet cuts, just assume I died. After run Crobat every single game. If that if getting this friendship up wasn't a pain in the ass, then again, I run Raichu and half the time I start out with a Pichu, so I guess I know the struggle. See, this is why we don't bring just Charmander into a cave. Because that's a fucking Onyx. The only saving grace here is that, that Onyx is level four. And I'm not going to two shot him. That's okay, he didn't know Rock Throw yet. I might two shot him. If we go from low roll to high roll, I two shot. That's the only way though. We went from lower to high roll. Fuck yeah. I felt like we should have done more. Man, I missed... I played Pokemon in a minute. And you know what's weird is, like... I played so much of the early gens of Pokemon, right? I have so much fucking Pokemon information just, just sitting in here. Just laying dormant, waiting for the next ROM hack. Hey, Diglett. Just waiting for the next ROM hack to come out. God, do we want to run a Diglett? Because I could. I need a second Pokemon, I just don't want to jump the gun too early, you know? Why is Bronze so special? What kind of ROM is it? Bronze is really special because Bronze is, and this is Bronze 2, but Bronze is a, a true blue Gen 2 ROM hack. Uh, there's a lot of extra effort and time that goes into making a ROM hack a Gen 2 instead of Gen 3, because all the assets are already made and like printed out for people who want to do Gen 3 stuff, and it's hard enough to make a ROM hack as it is. But if you heavily, heavily prefer the Gen 2 aesthetic, uh, music, sprites, everything like I do, uh, then you come to appreciate ROMs like these, not only because it's from my favorite generation, like I said, aesthetic, but also because you understand the extra time and effort that needs to go into... Uh, going the extra mile to go backwards a step in terms of which generation you're working with. And, for the most part, Bronze 1, and from what I understand, basically all of Bronze 2, uh, no fake mon. I am not a fan of fake mon. It works in some instances, you know, Ruby Destiny had Dark Lugia, that's whatever. Um, Glazed had the Red Scarf Pikachu. I don't know if there were any other fake mon in Glazed. If it's like one fake mon and it's like the special Pokemon in your game, that's different. But uh, even in good ROM hacks that have fake mon, like Pokemon Sweet, I just typically, unless they're really, really, really top tier, I really don't, I, don't, I just don't care for them, even if they're good ROM hacks. So lack of fake mon is also a plus for me. I don't know if I could have bought a Repel before I came in here. Are we going to Gen 4 games though? Uh, when we get back to the Poke MMO, yeah, I'm going to go to Sinnoh. When we, inevitably get, when we inevitably get back to playing the Pokemon, well, I'm definitely going to go to Sinnoh. 
I could run a Crobat. No, that's Flying Tap. I don't need Flying Tap. I have Charizard. It's Flying Poison, but it's Flying Tap. But no, Brian Scott, you're not alone. I, as someone who bought Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, I bought a whole 3DS capture card. I spent a lot of money to buy a 3DS capture card and then buy Pokemon Moon to stream Pokemon Moon for you guys. I despise Moon. I despise Moon. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon looked worse, and uh, hello, that's a trade Evo. No, I heard Frico talking about how this works. Okay, so this is this is one of the drawbacks, I think, is uh If I catch this Ghastly, he can evolve in a Haunter, but he can't evolve in a Gengar. However, if I really want a Gengar, there might be a bunch of fully evolved trade evos in a secret cave somewhere. I do believe I heard Frico say that. So Plus we definitely had a Gengar on the MMO. We definitely ran a Gengar on the Poke MMO. Counter right in here is something fierce. I should have actually checked to see if I could buy a repel. I didn't. I didn't even look. I didn't play Sun and Moon or the sequels. Yeah, Sun and Moon was really, really, really bad. And it's not that Sword and Shield inherently looked like a bad game. Like maybe if I would have just ignored all, all the like lying and all the other bullshit and just started with that instead of Sun and Moon, I'd have. I'd be singing a different tune. But that requires. I'd have to ignore a lot of bullshit. Um. But I just pretended. That Game Freak wasn't an awful company. And just played Sword and Moon instead. Or, uh, Sword and Moon. Sword and Shield instead out of the gate. I might have gotten reintroduced new Pokemon a little bit better, but, uh. Starting my Bronze. Oh, you starting Bronze 1? Good shit, man. All the Pokemon around here are still really low level. That's a Drowsy, though. I, I don't want to run a Hypno. I don't think it's Psychic. Are there any Gen 2 Psychic types? Oh, Espeon. Oh, man, we might put my girl Espeon on the team. Is this like Crystal Clear? Uh, it's like Crystal Clear in the sense that it's a ROM hack, but it's not like Crystal Clear in the sense that... Crystal Clear's whole thing is that it just was Pokemon Crystal, except you could do the gyms and trainers in any order you wanted. Um, this is not that at all. This is a complete overhaul. It's just like, imagine Gen 2 had a whole nother game. Like, instead of going to Gen 3, if Gen 2 just had another entire game. Like, it's it's Gen 2, but it's not Gold or Silver or Crystal, you know what I mean? I forget Giraffe Rig is a Pokemon 90% of the time. Was there ever a Glaze sequel? No, they never made a- the guy never made a Glaze 2. However, someone, like, Gen 4 ported an updated Glaze to make a version called Blazed Glaze, and it's just a- it's just a heavily updated Glaze, from what I understand. Ampharos is in this gen, and I never touch it because, uh, I always have a Raichu. I'm sure Ampharos is a fine Pokemon, though. So it's like Gen 2.5? Yeah, yeah, in a way. Technically, this one's like Gen 2.52, because this is Bronze 2. I'm really close to level 12, but I'm trying to save my Ember PP here. I'm sure I could talk to that guy and battle him. I want to go to the next. Run Starmie? I always run Starmie, though. I say always. I'm just... When I say always now, I'm mainly referring to stuff that I didn't... <laughs> Mainly referring to stuff that I did in, in the MMO. Starmie's a really good Pokemon. Also, I don't like um like I do like Umbreon. I don't like Umbreon in main games because Umbreon is uh, tanky, which just means if you have Umbreon out, he's gonna take a lot of hits. And even if he's super effective against Pokemon, it's still probably gonna take him two hits to knock the thing out, which means he's always taking hits. So I, I just typically don't prefer defensive Pokemon. I'm very picky about my stuff, which is probably why I wind up on the same teams over and over again. I bet you didn't see me on this tall grass. He's absolutely right. I did not see him. We could run a Crobat. Well, I just ran that possibility, but I have a Charmander, right? So he's going to be a Charizard. So I'm going to have Flying-type covered. Is the only kicker there. 
Like, I'm already gonna have the flying type down, you know what I mean? What's your opinion on Sword and Shield? The game might be okay, but... Game Freak... Lied at every corner on the way to the game's release. Uh, removed features... Is currently selling them back to the people... Currently selling removed base features that have been in the game almost forever, and is currently selling them back to people in the form of DLC. Uh, and just a lot of stuff that as a company rubs me the wrong way. So the game might be decent. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard hit or miss reviews from people who have played it, but it's just not something I, I felt like supporting. It's not something I would have been happy supporting, so I just, I just didn't pick it up personally. What type is this thing? Can I run a Pineco? I forget this bitch is Gen 2 also. Is he ice? He might, is he ice? Or is he grass? He's grass. Yeah, Pineco, duh. What am I- I'm thinking of the ice one. Grass, bug. No, he evolves in a fortress. Never mind, I'm not gonna run him. No, yeah, yeah, he evolves in a fortress. No, we're not, we're not gonna use that thing. However, what Pokemon are in this area? Let me get to the next town. Let me get to the next town, heal up, I'll come back. Talk to some of the trainers I missed. Bug only- yeah, but fortress is bug steel, is he not? Or is he just bug only, too? Not to mention, and this is a really... People hear you say this, and they're like, Oh, you're not even a real gamer, because you think this is important. But, hear me out. The graphics... On a console that had just released, released Luigi's Mansion 3. By the way, a little upset I picked Charmander, because Growlithe's right here. My ass cut out a fucking Arcanine. But I always do Arcanine, man, because I always do Squirtle. No, we, we made the right choice. We're doing the right thing. The graphics in Sword and Shield suck ass. For being a Switch game, for being Nintendo's most powerful console ever, the graphics in Sword and Shield actually suck ass. Who likes Torterra here? I like Torterra. Like, ever since I was a kid, right? Pokemon Stadium came out on the N64. I need to blow my nose or something, man. Hold on. <clears throat> Pokemon Stadium comes out on the N64, right? And my eyes light up. Just thinking, since I was a child, a wee fucking lad, right? Since I was a child, I'm just, I'm just dreaming. You know what I mean? I'm just dreaming about how one day they're going to put Pokemon, they're going to put a real Pokemon game on a console. Because like, I already had Stadium, but they're going to put a real Pokemon game on a console. And I'm going to be able to walk through the world. I'm going to be able to see the Pokemon doing all this shit. And I just pictured the game looking good. Little did I know, 20 years later, 25 years later, however long it is, uh, the graphics somehow still wouldn't look much better than the N64 graphics. And the animations would get worse. And maybe not worse than Stadium, that's a little unfair. But they're not much better than Stadium's. You feel me? Like, how how did GameCube games have better looking Pokemon with better animations than Sword and Shield? Like, it just doesn't... None of it makes sense. I'm typically not the kind of guy who, like... I don't know which way to go here. I feel like I have options. Now I'm up here? What the fuck? Okay. Give me a fishing rod. What? Where is my son? Oh, okay. Never mind, shouldn't give me a fishing rod. This guy's gonna have water types. This is my best fishing spot. Soon I can take on Coraline. Hey, buddy, you're tangled up my line. Oh, okay, something had to stop me. It's just, it feels like with Sword and Shield, almost everything they did was literally the laziest move they could possibly think of. The laziest, like, most money-grabbing move they could possibly came from, or think of. Let's remove some features, let's, let's lie about why we remove those features, let's sell those same features back in chunks of DLC later. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense. Let's release this. Let's release a Pokemon game on the most powerful Nintendo system ever, and somehow still look worse than a Pokemon that came out two Nintendo systems ago on 480 fucking P. Like, none of it made any sense.
I still believe the rumor that Sword and Shield was a 3DS beta was never supposed to be for the Switch. The rumor I heard was Sword and Shield was supposed to be a mobile game, but either way, those make more sense than them actually just trying to make that a game, you know? And do not bring up... Do not bring up that that is extreme EA slash Activision tactics around Pokemon fans, because they will get mad. Even though you're not wrong. If you, if like, that's literally, like, right out of the EA slash Activision playbook, is to remove features and then sell them back as DLC later. Usually in the form of a season pass, but sell them back as DLC later, nonetheless. And the game, despite hardly looking any better... Got upcharged $20 because they moved it to the Switch. Just everything about it. Yeah, so while the game itself that came out might be, like, a decent Pokemon game, I have an infinite number of reasons to not feel like supporting that one. But, on the other hand, I can't blame them. Because Pokemon fans will buy and eat that shit up regardless. Because Pokemon is just so big, people literally don't care. They don't care what's getting shoveled into their mouse. They will just, they'll eat it and be happy. You know what I mean? They gonna buy that DLC, right? Be thrilled. Be thrilled that they had their features removed and then give, be given the opportunity to buy them later. They're gonna be fucking... They're ecstatic about that shit. So, like, I can't even blame Game Freak because they know their fan base. They know that, like, why would they... Why would they put in the work? Why would they have to? People are gonna buy it anyway. Why would they make the graphics look better? Why do they need to do that? People are gonna buy that garbage anyways. Why not remove features and sell them back? That's more money, and they're happy to do it. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, I'm not blaming Game Freak for this. Don't get me started on a die. Okay, so here's the weird thing. As lazy as it is, right? It fits the MO of laziest possible things I could think of. I actually like Dynamax. I like the idea of Dynamax. Just some, just having one raid boss Pokemon in your squad. I know it's really simple, but compared to all the other stuff they tried in the past couple years, Z moves and all that garbage, like I actually kind of like Dynamax. I know I'm weird for that. I like the idea of it. Can't wait to test my Pokemon training skills against Willow Brushes. Wait, Willow Brushes, whoops. Gym leader. All right. Okay, it was a long way to get here. I'm gonna buy some repels and go back, because I definitely miss talking to a couple people. T-Shot, I was a little worried. You left on your adventure without saying goodbye. You're in Willowbrush Town. Oh, I've been through there before. It's a lovely place. I guess you were too excited. I can understand. I wish I could help somehow. Oh, I could save your money. Sure, Mom, have at it. When I was a kid, I never let her save my money, she'd always be like, I bought a doll. I'd be like, woman, quit spending my shit. Look at the color! Always wanted to do something great for the world. Is this a grass? Oh, its name is Willow. It's got a green theme. Am I feeling a grass, Jim? Who are you? You look important. Howdy, stranger. Oh, you're new in town? If that's so, I'll have the town gate open for you. Make yourself at home, stranger. He opened the town gate for me? Yeah, I'm getting a very, uh, getting a very grass-type gym here. You know, if you catch another Pokemon and you already have six in your party, yeah, yeah, I know how that works. Battle with my friend via link cable upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Mart, try to find a Repel. We're gonna backtrack a little bit, because I didn't actually look around for the wild Pokemon in that area at all. There might be something I really want in there. Power, 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 power. Fuck! That's tough. That's tough. Okay. We will go without. If Omega Ruby have a Sapphire was anything to go by Gen 4 remake, should be good? I heard... Notorious dislike for Omega Ruby have a Sapphire. However, that was because they pushed Megas. If they just add Gigamax or whatever... To Gen 4, that probably won't be that bad. But I heard a lot of people didn't care for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire because they just steamrolled it because that was not a game designed with Megas in mind. And then they just added Megas to it. So the game was... I heard from a lot of people it was like... ridiculously easy. 
Dynamax, Gigamax, Gigantamax. It, it. I feel like Gigamax rolls off the tongue. That's why I call it that. But uh, I've never seen this many people like Megas. I mean, they're a really cool idea. This is a nice place to fish, but it's a little boring alone. Would you like? Oh, I would love one. Now, do I want to run Gyarados in Gen Two? Probably not. I did Jack Hoggin, man. All right, this should be an old rod, and it should just catch me magic arps. We're gonna look anyways. Dude, what I want to is Kingdra. Is Kingdra a trade Evo? Kingdra's a trade Evo, isn't he? Or no? Yeah, that's about what I expected. Mega should have only been for Pokemon that needed this stat boost. Yeah, you're not wrong. But I mean, they had to give them, you know, like shit like Charizard. Charizard X and Y and Mewtwo X and Y kind of carried Megas. Alright, there's only one guy left to talk to, and it's this dude right here. And then we can walk back, and I've caught up to everything. You have to trade him with a Dragon Scale? Okay, so no Kingdra. No Kingdra. I'm gonna have to battle this guy. He was just staring at the wall my first time in here. And then we're gonna check we're gonna check the wild Pokemon on the way back, because I, I completely avoided that on my way in. I should have just talked to these guys on the first time. I was playing it really, really safe because I didn't have a second Pokemon yet. Great, another challenge. Run Dragonite? I mean if I come across an early Dratini. We're talking maybe. Because this game is two full gen or two full regions. So he probably will hit level 55. At least. Charizard didn't need two Megas. I'm kind of glad he got him. I mean, it makes him OP. But I'm actually a pretty big fan of both both the Megas. Um, like, obviously, X looks cooler. But Charizard Y... I like his stat boost more. That was, like, on my way out of competitive was... My way out of playing competitive Pokemon is when Megas showed up. And... Running a Mega Evo Charizard, but they knew Charizard was my Mega, but they were always expecting X, and then you pull out the fucking, you pull out the fucking Charizard Y, and they they aren't expecting to get blasted like that, and it works pretty well. Having two Megas is probably third. Yeah, it also was a game seller. Should've just battled that guy the first time around. But, no biggie, we're gonna come back this way anyway. Alright, let's see if there's any wild Pokemon in this area I'm, I'm interested in. We're gonna do a Growlithe, didn't we? Just throw it into Spearow. Kinda forgot I had a run button. I know I'm playing this game really slowly, I'm just, I'm experiencing it, you know? Ooh, first time we see a Pidgey. I don't want a Pidgey. We've got flying type covered and Pidgeot's not that great. Pidgeot's such a cool design, but he's just not he just doesn't hold up anymore, you know. I don't know if I've actually changed routes yet. We might not be on a different route. I might just have to go beat this town's ass. Yeah, because we're still running into Growlithe and stuff. I think what we're looking at is that different just yet. Also, something to keep in mind, Freako might have set it up to where different Pokemon come out at different times of day. Well, maybe because I'm playing in daytime and not, you know, evening or night or whatever. Some areas are out of reach until you learn new moves. I've never gone past that big rock before. A rock smash, okay. Oh, fuck. Hey! Oh, man, I am so sorry! I absolutely need to get home. A TV special with Scarlet and the Janto Pokemon League champion, Felicity. It's going to be on really, really soon. There's no way I'm going to miss this. So sorry about earlier. Sorry, sorry. What is this dude, Canadian? 
It's a TV. Yeah, I want to see the program. Shh, my favorite show is on. Boy, that Scarlet is such a deer. I collect Pokemon. Do you have a Growlithe? An early, an early wrath? Give me just a second. I'll be right back. An extremely... It's bugged. It doesn't evolve. We were so close, brother. <laughs> we were so close, brother. Oh, I was running to catch a Growlithe that second, man. Oh, yeah. He's not a trade bow. He needs a Water Stone. Fuck! An early Wrath? An early Whirl? Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, Polyrath isn't a trade bow. He's a Stony bow. <laughs> That's not a bug. Oh, it's trade for Politoed? I never run Politoed. Man, Polyrath is not a good Pokemon, but the water fighting type coverage is nice. The bug isn't mine, it's literally bugged in Gen 2 like that for NPC trades. No, it's uh it's fine anyway, Frico. Cause I want Polyrath. Like my my whole brain went to Polyrath, and that's the stone evolution. That's uh Polytoad I don't care about. And Polytoad's the trade evo. Uh I understand Politoed is conventionally the better Pokemon, but uh, I just always like Rath's design, even if he's not a good Pokemon. Growlithe, the puppy type. Controls a big territory. If it detects an unknown smell, it roars loudly, forces out the intruder. Not going to nickname him, because I'm not going to have him, but for four more seconds. We do have a little bit of coverage, yeah. Depending on what Poliwhirl knows, he won't be fighting type yet until I find a Water Stone, wherever that would be in this game. Also, I might need to look up Poliwhirl's moveset. Honestly, I'd be better off getting if this guy gave me a polywag would be better, but it's we'll make it work But since I'm giving him a female growth am I gonna get a female Poly world I wonder Is freak Rama the same Frico who made bronze yes, and he's the same Frico who made bronze too the very same Guy's name is Tim. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, what did he nickname this little thing? Did he just leave the name Polyworld? That would be sick if he just left the name Polyworld. I should have named the thing Shitfuck. Polly Bolly. I don't hate it. Got a King's Rock on him. Good shit. Knows Water Gun and Hypnosis. Kind of needs a physical attack in there, but nah, not a bad start. I actually need to go to a Pokemon Center. Now a Heracross on your team would be useless. Is Heracross fighting type? God, I love... Number one, I love what you did with the doors. To just give them a different look. And then the color. Man, if every town has its own color, I'm just gonna lose it. Fire Prince. I don't know if I want to know. Well, I take that back. Frico actually kind of under the table let me know that. But other questions like that, I don't know if I want to know. I think I want to experience them. King's Rock is the item you needed for Politoed. Oh, I've never gone for Politoed. So he's actually supposed to be Politoed, but Gen 2 is just bugged. 
Always wanted to go do something great for the world. I wouldn't be able to do it without a Pokemon. Okay. I should probably start trying to train Poliwhirl a bit. Surely this town has a gym. We haven't actually came across the gym yet. Something's got to give me Rock Smash. Who are you? Over there is a Pokemon gym. You can test your skills there for a badge. Personally, I'd watch out for his Mac attack. He hates it when people say that. The fuck does that mean? Oh, there's the gym. Willow Brush Town Pokemon Gym. Leader Mac. Grounds enemies into dust. Oh, he's ground type. Wait. Wait, this isn't a grass type gym. Polybolly, it might be your time to shine. I have to grind him up a little bit. Looks like the North Town gates are shut. I bet you could persuade Mac to open them with a Pokemon battle. Didn't I talk to that guy who said he was going to open the gates anyway? Guy in the Pokemon center? Make sure you train all your Pokemon. Can't rely on just one Pokemon to win all your battles for you. Yeah, tell that to 10-year-old me, because I definitely did exactly fucking that. Daddy is very strict. He makes me play with all of my Pokemon equally. That's not strict, that's just not... Racist. Hmm? Alright, we're gonna go train up Polybolly real quick, because if this dude is... Judging by that sign, this gym might be Ground-type. And if this gym is Ground-type... Uh, Polyball is actually going to be the wave. Instead of Charmander. So I'm glad we got him now. Hello, oh, Zachard. How you doing? Alright, that's what I was hoping to run into. Okay, he can't, but if Poliwhirl could learn Bite, or some move to make people flinch, that would be the wave. Is this the same Thundershot I made Raging Blast 2 vids? You're looking at him! Yamcha versus Broly? That was me! Super Saiyan 3 Goku versus Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta? That was me! I'm the guy! Yo, bro, man. It doesn't happen very often anymore, but I love it with someone who used to watch my YouTube years ago. Somehow finds me on Twitch by happenstance. That's the best shit. Alright, Polyworld. Sprite. Let me get my tools. Do the transparent background. Oh man, if that gift didn't loop every one second. It's actually a badass gif. Doesn't look like I'm finding a clean Gen 2 sprite that isn't a gif for some reason. Oh my god, I found the Pokemon Rumble sprite, Jesus. Yeah, every Gen 2 sprite is like a crystal rip, so it's a whole gif. Let's just do this one. This one will work. What if I can just say the gif is a PNG? You think that would work? Let me try that. Save image as. I am the hype! Oh, I actually already have a Poliwhirl. Hold up. Thunder. I'm down for the Pokemon Bronze too. Drip, how you doing, man? Thank you for the three months. I actually already have a Poliwhirl. I've ran Poliwhirl before. I ran Poliwrath before. Yeah, let's just do this. Not the Gen 2 sprite I wanted, but. Thank you, Drip, for the resub. 
God damn, Grizzly! I didn't know you were an OG! Jersey Devil, thanks for gifting us up to Enchanting. Enchanting! Good to see you again. I know it's been a while. We do Coke cans for sub hype around here if you want to get in on that fun. Don't roar me away, you dumb bit. Oh, I hate him! Oh, I'm flooding fear. I was gonna get so much experience from that. <coughs> if this is Gen 1, I would probably catch this. find you on YouTube. You yeah, if you've been around for five years, you probably found me on YouTube. Not a lot of people five years ago were finding me on Twitch. Can you follow each other people? If you're on desktop, you don't have to follow each at all. If you're on desktop, you could just... Oh, King's Rock. <laughs> if you're on desktop, you can just click on their name. And it'll tell you. Tell you when their account was made, how long they've been following, how many months they've been subbed, all, all the good shit, you know? I don't know what level this gym's gonna be. Everything has been relatively low leveled. If Frico is doing that thing where he scales it one to one with Pokemon Gold again, then the strongest Pokemon in the gym I'm coming up to is gonna be like level nine or level twelve. I forget. Level curve, yeah, level curve, same as Gold. There it is. So maybe I level Poly up one or two more times, and then he should just be able to to wash the gym if they're ground types, and then I still have Charmander if they're grass. This Growlithe just doesn't roar me. That would be fantastic. I know he knows the pain's coming, so he roars to save his life, but... Hey, he got the flinch. Admittedly, I don't remember what, much of Bronze 1's difficulty, but I don't remember ever getting stuck in Bronze 1. I don't remember, like, washing Bronze run, Bronze 1. Like, I don't remember it being a cakewalk, but I don't remember getting stuck anywhere. And like, if I wide it out, it would have been once near the end. Because there was that double gym area. You had the gym up here, and then you went down through the thing, and then there was the other gym down there, like, near the end. I think that was the only area that I was, like, mm, kind of sweating. All right, we're going to heal up. We're going to go take Polyborn in this gym. See how he's doing. Polybolly. Some people, I know it kind of sucks because some people at some point in time unfollowed and refollowed just to get Twitch's notification system to work. And it doesn't count those people. Kind of sucks. We got Sprout Tower. Hey kid, listen up. Mac, the leader here, uses ground type Pokemon. So anything with electric won't hurt him. You have to defeat Max two frontline trainers if you want to access his room. I always give you the top tips. Okay. I've been training with Mac for years. You won't get any further. I also think if you change your name, it resets your followers. That sucks. Changing your name and resetting followage sucks. These kids are 10. <laughs> Changing your name doesn't reset it? Oh, good shit. You know, for certain, one of the earliest things here was Xenoverse, because I just got the game. Yeah, Polly, uh, Polly Bolly was perfect for this. Woohoo! Two levels? Yeah, this is Polly's gym now. This is Polly Bolly's gym now. Ultimate Time Lurker. Oh, yeah, ti Oh, Tired She. Yeah, your name does look familiar. I feel like you... Yeah, the very rarely chime in type. It 
It would be a it would be a completely ridiculous, over the top, probably very difficult feature for them to implement. But it would be very nice to see what uh. Just give the message and date of someone's first chat in your stream, you know, and maybe the game you were playing at the time. Just to know where they started at would be really nice, like a really nice little like it seems very extra and extreme for something really small, but that would be that would be super nice. Oh my god, he's too high a level. I am the hype! Yo, what's up, Thunder? He wouldn't obey me. He's he hit level 11. I need the first gym badge. Ty Fuzzle, thank you for the 41 months. That'd be pretty hard to do because the VODs are gone and also the chat. Yeah, but the thing is, is uh If you click on someone's name, you can see how many times they've chatted. I think even if the VOD expires, you can see, like, every chat log they've ever had. I don't know if that only counts from when they first implemented that feature, if that goes back forever. Anyways, Ty Fuzzle 25 Thank you for the 41 motherfucking months. Good to see you, man. I think I followed you during Dokkan tournaments. Jesus, Dokkan tournaments. Polly Bolly got too high leveled, man. He's too big for his britches. We're gonna have to have Chadzar try to carry us to a fucking. Try to have Chadzar carry us through a fucking, uh. Goddamn ground gym. Okay, judging by that guy's Pokemon levels, his strongest is gonna be level 12, I think. It might be 14, but I'm pretty sure it's 12. Oh, hey, you were the guy at the Pokemon Center. Howdy, stranger. I'm Mac, the Willow Brush Pokemon Gym Leader. As your first challenge, this might be too much for you. You may back out now if y'all wish. Ah, I like your enthusiasm. Let the battle commence. Leader Mac. Look at the sprites, man. He looks like a like a skinny hiker. We should be able to handle Q-Bone, unless he Bone Clubs us. Bone Club might fuck me up. Actually, no, we're gonna two-shot him. We should be okay. Alright, that's that Bone Club I was worried about. Thank God it missed. Hey, what up, Golem? How you doing? Inner Mac. Ooh, I love Fanfi, but Fanfi isn't gonna resist. He's not... Is he? He might. He's not rock type though, so I can scratch him if I need to, is the thing. That's what it is. Ooh, mud slap. Mud slap, that's tough. I only found Thunder's Twitch very recently. Around Dragon Ball Heroes. Zekar, that's so weird. I feel like you've been around forever. Or maybe I've just seen you in Omega chat for a long time or something. Um, I'm actually gonna switch for the other Rhyhorn. We're just gonna let Polly do his thing. I just don't want Charmander out there with a mud slap already. Oh, he, he listened. Good shit. Yeah, Bills and not Beerus is a turbo throwback. I forget he levels up quicker because trades... Just level up faster. That was a level 7 Rhyhorn. He almost got a full level off of it. Actually, he did. He got a full level off of it. It just didn't tick over. I was so close. You were not so close, man. This was an absolute wash. The official Pokemon League or, or something badge. Oh, just core badge. Okay. That there core badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also allows Pokemon to use the move Flash outside of battle. Here, y'all can also have this. That oh, did he give me Dig? Or is that Mud? That's not Mud Slap. That should be Dig. 
using a TM, a Pokemon will learn a new move. But be mindful of who you give it to, as TMs can only be used once. TM28 is dig. You can use it as a powerful two-turn attack, or use it to escape from caves if you're feeling lost. I have opened the town gates for you. If y'all wish to move on, you are free to do so. There are also many Pokemon gems around Janto, waiting for challengers like you. I wish you luck, partner. I like his sprite. I like his sprite a lot. But I gave this guy an accent last week. Rico, how did you not have the first town done until last week? You absolute madman. I was 11 when I started finding squad channels. That was nine years ago. Yeah, you were finding squad channels before I was making YouTube videos, pal. <clears throat> Frico, if you want to link where to get the game, feel free. Okay, I did not get Rock Smash for that. He didn't tell me, I don't think he told me what I can use outside of battle and my trade Evo. I don't think he told me about my, my trade Evo's level going up either. I might have just missed it. I'm, I was reading chat a lot. Talk to this guy. Ah, the gates are open now. Time to get my mosey on. That's cool. That's really cool. The gates. Wow, did you get a gym badge? You must be a strong trainer. If I didn't have strict parents, I'd love to travel with you. Out for Rose Glen City, Callow Force. It would be really, really hard to do. And I'm definitely not thinking it for like a Gen 2 hack. But it would be kind of dope if there actually was a Pokemon game where you explored with like two, you know, homies like Ash always does. Like a Misty and Brock combo or something. It'd have to be really in-depth though. Like I'm not... I'm not Putting it on Game Freak, because I know they're not capable of something like that. But in the right hands of the right company, man, maybe. I think I'm lost. You didn't say anything about level? Ah, uh, we'll find out. I'll put... Polly back up front, we'll see if he listens. Actually, let's let Polly go now. Put Polly on now. Growlithe can't really hurt him, he can only roar him out. I guess he can bite, but... Actually, this dude's level 10. Bite might hurt a little bit. Psych. He didn't hesitate there, though. I was looking for videos of, like, Super Saiyan 1000, and I found Thunder. <laughs> it sounds about right. You can actually fly on Pokemon to cities and ride Rapidashes like a Zelda game. I mean, they kind of had that in Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Let's Go Pikachu Eevee was a badass game. It's crazy, like... Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is the better Pokemon Switch game. I don't know. Yeah, I definitely remember I was at your YouTube page looking at the trailer for Bronze 1. I think I was grabbing it to, like, tease my community with it. And I was clicking around some other stuff you were doing there, Frico. And then you popped up in the... Popped up in the comment section of the LP channel, which I barely check because Twitch is the main thing. I just sort of lobbed those up on the LP channel just to do it. And I was like, I know that name. The football clip? What football clip? From Life is Strange. Yeah, I'm not really in the market for new Pokemon for a little while now. Now that I have Polly to work on. So finding more Pidgey here isn't a big deal. I'm gonna test. He's not listening! Oh no! 
Never mind, I think I'm in the market for new Pokemon. Polly hit. Oh no! Polly hit 10 and he won't listen no more. All right, we are totally in the market for another uh, a partner Pokemon. He won't listen ever, is that how it works? So Frico, I mean like you probably know this, but the way it's supposed to work is the first badge and or the second badge is supposed to raise his level, like his, his listen. So it's like, you get the first badge, every Pokemon you caught up to level 20 will obey you, right? You get the second badge, every Pokemon you caught, or every Pokemon traded to you, uh, up to level 40 will obey you, so on and so forth. So I don't know how that's implemented, I don't know how any of that works, but yeah, it's just like the first first gym, they tell you like, okay, all the Pokemon, you know, any Pokemon traded to you up to level 20 will obey. Second Pokemon, any Pokemon up to level 40 will obey. Or sometimes it's every other badge. Sometimes it's every other badge. Um, but if you didn't put it into the gym leaders, then it probably doesn't exist, and he probably won't listen to me ever, I would imagine. I think it might be the second. Okay. Okay. We'll keep Polly in the chat, in the squad for now. We'll just stop training him. See how it works. See how it works. He got us through the first gym regardless. I sense danger. Ooh, psychic type guy. Playtesters didn't bring up any problems about that. I see you. Second, get, second gym bumps up to 20? That's so low, though. Unless the second gym is literally in the next town. Polly's gonna be constantly over-leveled till we hit gym 4, probably, I think. Fucking flash-ass bitch, what are you doing? Scrap fucking A, man. I hate this guy. I think Scratch might actually do more to Abra, yeah. Cause, oh, wait, no, we crit, never mind. It's gonna be a Charmeleon soon, though. I'm gonna need to download a Charmeleon sprite. It's gonna need to happen. So, I'm gonna switch out to Polly just to refresh. I'm probably the youngest in this chat. I turned 18 in June. You are not probably the youngest in this chat. However, it's nice to know that, like, as I, you know, kept stringing, kept stringing and got older, my audience got older. Because, man, having all the Dragon Ball kids, when y'all were, like, in junior high, barely starting high school, and just really, really into Dragon Ball, was fucking tough. You got 20 year old me trying to corral a bunch of 15 year olds. 21 year old me trying to, trying to keep a bunch of 15 year olds in check. I wasn't that annoyed. No, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys who are still here now, I don't ever remember being that annoying. Fucking A, man. Fighting Psyduck sucks. How much does it do? Um, if we crit, we go down and actually lose this fight, probably. Hoping Smokescreen would make a miss. I should live this with 3 HP. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna switch him out. We're gonna potion. I really need coverage. Now that Polly is, uh, can't really rely on the man. Alright, I got a few potions here. Yoink. Ooh, 
Ooh, confusion. Not super effective yet, he just got a crit. Okay. Alright, Chadzar should be able to scratch this thing to death now. Especially if he conf uses confusion here. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Oh, we got a crit, man. I could have done that in two hits. Whatever. Psychic Sid. Is Omega still streaming? Yeah, Omega's streaming more than ever now. He went through a couple rough patches, but now that guy's on like every day, and like a lot every day. He does a lot of just chatting stuff now, but he's still... Ooh, a Vulpix Freako! You're making me upset I picked Charmander with all these fire types early game. Be careful in the underground. It can be a bit spooky. I'm not prepared for this. That fight kicked my ass. Should give the King's Rock to Chadzar, but maybe after the berry goes away. What is this music? Well, shit! T-Shot! I'm amazed you didn't give up this so soon. Suppose I should encourage you by beating you in a battle. What do you say? I'm game. Oh god, it's Karen. Oh, Omega definitely hit the upgrade button. Okay, let's hope Chadzor can take care of this, because uh, not listening Polly may be kind of tough. We should hit Charizard off this, though. Or not Charizard, Charmeleon. That's use Squirtle. No, let's stick it out. I'm gonna regret this. The Squirtle's water gun's gonna fuck me up. What level is he? Oh, nine. Never mind. We're okay. We're okay. I think we're okay. I have a berry. Yeah, we're good. I'll give Charizard the or Charm Charmander the Chadzar the King's Rock after this. Oh, we got a crit. Level 16, baby! What do you got? Ooh, a Scyther? What a badass! I, unfortunately, have Ember. So you're not gonna live very long. But, man, a level 8 Scyther? Glad your starter doesn't like go against you. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, like, like your starter can't over level. Look at fat little Charmander. All right, I gotta get a Charmeleon sprite now. Oh God, the Gen One sprite. The Gen 1 sprite's so hideous. Get our bigger boy in here. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Oh, I should have put Dig on him. We'll put Dig on Charmander. Or Charmeleon. Chad's are. Uh, for coverage. That would have helped with Psyduck a lot, I think. Um, I'm going to the Pokemon Center to clean up this mess you've made. Don't run into me again. God, the rival's a dick and I love it. I love Karen. Sharon? You know what they say, kids. Sharon. Is Karen. That's just two white women names. There's still a ways to go to the next route. Uh-oh. I should go to the Pokemon Center. Ha! 
You never know what kind of people to expect pop out of that staircase. I saw this one kid with a weird fashion sense stomp through here all brody, broody like. It's a fun job. It's very, I'm walking up on Goldenrod City vibes. I'm not, but those are the vibes. You can have both dig and fly, you're damn right. Um, this is also a new route. I should be checking for new Pokemon. You get that nostalgia hit times too. It's just, it's just the vibes. I hit the fucking cancel. All right, I'm purposely avoiding trainers right now because I just want to go heal up at the center first. I know I'm not actually that damaged, but. How you doing, Shanty? Camper Alfred. Anyone here who's unlucky enough not to be American? So five years ago, you might have had a statement there, but uh, today, that, that doesn't carry as much weight anymore. Fire Prince, it's not the wave. Look at Chadzar. Wooper? I didn't put Dig on, fuck. That's okay, Wooper's a little bitch. My nose is stuffed up, but it's like behind my nose. Like, it doesn't come to my nose enough where I can just blow it out and, like, be able to breathe for a minute. So I'm sorry if, like, I'm acting a little different. I'm being a little weird. I'm just, I'm dealing with a lot right here right now. Alright, another trainer all battle. Please be a town. Route 5. Rose Glen City. West is Callow Forest. So I probably want to go to Rose Glen, right? Woo, we're right there. No, they're going to make me go around. Judging by how this town map layout is, they're going to make my ass go all the way around. I should go back. Man, that's a long way to the next route. Or to the next city. Hornworth Town? This is a jot. I should just go back, heal up, and battle everyone. I also don't know if I checked. I did check. One of those lone travelers, eh? But I guess no one's truly alone if you have Pokemon. Oh, no, I'm in Roseland. Sick. Remember when I said Goldenrod vibes? Anyone want a timeout? It can be a mod, it doesn't have to be a dead note. Anyone timeout Fire Prince for 10 minutes? He's being really fucking weird. I love this music. The town's red! Oh, hello, are you new here? I attended the gardens in Roseglen. I've done set dressing for many TV shows here, so I try to keep it as pretty as possible. Jim is great. I hear the leader is someone really important. Roseglen City Pokemon Gym. Leader unknown. The description appears to be missing. Yeah, so the problem is he's either being a fucko or he's telling a really, really bad joke. I actually need to go back and explore the wild Pokemon too. I saw Professor Alder being interviewed on TV. He said he gave two young trainers their first Pokemon so they could make their mark on this world. Oh, I'd like to meet those trainers today. Today? What a weird... I wonder why the gym leader's identity here remains a secret. They must be someone important. Think I have the looks to be a star? I'll soon be auditioning at the TV station. Man, this is a Hollywood-ass town. I love it here. Your TV personalities hang around this city. So that's why I come here often. I want to be famous too! Scarlet is beautiful and amazing. I would do anything to meet her. Here, Scarlet is somewhere in the city right now. Oh, I wonder who the gym leader is. I often wonder what lies beyond this fence. <laughs> what lies beyond. This fence, I mean. <laughs> Alright. 
All right, pal. Please keep our city as tidy as possible. Do not litter. Thank you. Oh, you can actually go beyond that fence. If I get rock smashed. I love look man, the sprites, the town changing colors, the different door frames, it's the little shit, man, but I... Nothing like feeling like you're playing a Gen 2 game again for the first time, you know? I have to say, Freako, I know I'm early in it, but I am... I'm vibing with Bronze 2 a lot more than I was Bronze 1. Not that I wasn't vibing with Bronze 1. There's something about this one. I don't know. Pokemon can't just use the same attack forever. Each move has PP or power points, which can be refilled at Pokemon Center. Alright, I imagine that dude's gonna tell me nothing. If she was telling me that. I love my daddy. I drew him a picture of Teddy Ursa. Wanna see? Sure. Good ass drawing. Hope daddy likes it. Oh, it's the twins, but they're actually walking around. My sis is a real good artist. Being a father of twins is not an easy thing. I take Pokemon training over that some days. But most days, I do love my family. Is he implying some... Uh, but most days, I... Is he implying that some days, he does not love his family? Is that the vibe I'm getting here? Some days, he just doesn't love... I guess he just picks and chooses. Sorry, that was gross, but that was the one I was digging for earlier. I feel a lot better. Finally got that. Finally got that cleared out of bed. How long am I going for today? I don't know, man. I want to go forever. I'm having a really good time. Before I started, I was upset that I was late. I knew I slept longer than I meant to sleep, which is, I, it always makes me feel like a piece of shit to miss stream because I'm just so fucking tired, right? So I didn't have like a great mental attitude going into it, but this game is really fun and a lot of people turned up. I always expect when I do meth head streams to get like 70 viewers and never anymore. Ooh, game corner. Um, I wonder. Place 10 coins in the slot machine. I've not been lucky yet, but one day I'm sure it'll pay off. Anyway, I'm having a really fun time with the game, so I want to go forever, but the, the reality of it is that in two hours it's going to be 4 a.m., so we'll see where we're at then. Game corner music always kicked ass. Nobody asked it to go this hard. Also, man, all these new sprites, even the more, like, tame ones like this, I don't know, man. Even if this is just a recoloring. I like the new sprites because, like, they look nice, but they just, they just fit. I need a case. Yeah, I don't have a case. Somebody left their drink here. It tastes absolutely awful. Why are you drinking someone else's drink? Why is this fan drinking someone else's drink? Yeah, I just woke up. I'm going to be awake for a while. But the problem is that it's going to be 4 a.m. And not everyone's going to be awake for a while. 